Extensible is an important attribute for many products and softwares. It means that users have choice, they have options, and they can customize it to their own uh, need. It also means that the software and the technology can evolve over time. Users appreciate choice. When I joined Google about three and a half years ago to lead the Kubernetes team, it was early 2016, uh, there was about 600 contributors in the Kubernetes community. Remember this number, 600? And we were doing about 50% of the contribution. And the team, as I'm sure other, other teams working in the Kubernetes community, were on the edge of burning out. Converging, releasing, when contribution is not organized, when there is no clear communication channels or processes, where it's really hard to set the quality bar as high as you want, is really, really hard. And it's hard everywhere, but open source makes it even worse. And when the team really do whatever is needed to get the best product out there, it is exhausting. So as part of my role, when I joined, I started leading towards engineering hygiene and engineering best practices like a release cadence and quality and processes and product themes. So in this, this is the uh, first community meeting I, I had the courage to actually speak up. And I was advocating for a more rigid release process that will allow teams to know this. If you, know, if you miss the train, the next train will come. And this was great. And this was one of the things that we changed in the Kubernetes community. We organized working groups. We defined governance. And we brought emphasis on communication, inclusiveness, and uh, transparency. But it simply wasn't enough. The success of Kubernetes drew more and more people into the project. More integrations and dependencies, internal and external to Google. And not only the Kubernetes community grew, also our own team probably tripled in size in that time. And we have observed our velocity is declining. It was simply really hard to get features out the door. One team could easily break what another team was doing with, with making it really hard to anticipate that kind of changes. And we decided to address it strategically. If you look at my KubeCon talk from Berlin in 2017, this was the first time when I talked about sustainable success. This diagram captures the significant scope of the Kubernetes projects. It's similar to the entire cloud platform from a surface area perspective. The team that invested in building Kubernetes also invested in creating extension points throughout the different layers and promoting open standards, achieving composable systems. It started, of course, as an attribute, an important attribute of the Kubernetes project as a platform that is used to building other products. But when we saw the light at the end of the tunnel and we understood the impact it will have on our team, we doubled down on this investment. And we have come very far. Today, we have over a dozen mechanisms to extend Kubernetes in different, in different layers, like cloud providers, client libraries, container runtime interface, and more. This allowed an ecosystem to evolve around Kubernetes. And really what extensibility brought to the team was independence and velocity, the ability to move fast without having to um, talk with all other teams around you. And many teams, both internally in Google and externally, started building more and more on top of Kubernetes. 